which is to use the full feather for the body. And the technique is very simple. Instead of collecting or wrapping around with the bath outside, I will tie the feather by the tip first and then use the, the uh, ackle plier like this. I will show you the ackle plier later as well. And you know, twist and wrap around the hook chain to create the body shape. And what is nice is by doing that, uh, you you have a lot of, of uh, uh, flotation which comes out of this. For instance, if I would stop the feather here, the feather the the, the hook is all already floating. I could finish it like this, drop on the water and float. Mm. So that's very important because now I can create the wing the way I want because I don't need the the ackle to have the feather floating. And at that time, I did not have invented this fantastic machine. <laughs> so I was collecting the barbs out from the stem that way. So pretty much uh, like this, meaning uh, taking the barb, making the barb 90 degrees from the stem, and then doing that. You see, it looks very easy. You see, everything is nicely lined up, but it is not easy as you probably have tried, especially when you, you want to have uh, another, another section and you have to reopen and grab it again. So, whenever you want to do that, uh, take it easy. If it doesn't work as well as that, just repeat it. There is no secret here just to try it. When you put everything together, you will also see that it's, uh, they are not very nicely line up, they, they get away from each other, which makes the work even more difficult. Mm. But no need to go to the doctor, this is quite normal. <laughs> Just repeat. So, now that we have been doing the, the body, you just make a, a small triangle base here, and then we will put a bunch of fibers like this, to create the wing, so make one, two, three times like this, and then right under that you can mm -hmm. with trim the excess and add the tines right under. Now, the only thing we have to do with the remaining section of the feather, it's very simple. You just twist and wrap around to make the thorax and then finish like this. Now you train the excess, use your finisher, What? Sorry? <laughs> you come on to buy me. Oh yeah. Uh, Look at that tool. First of all, it rotates. This yeah. is not the only one who can rotate like this, of course. But this is probably the only one who can go as close as this. Which means that as you do, you are doing the 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 whip finish knot. The triangle intend to be smaller and smaller and smaller. And sometimes, uh, for instance, the materelli, you cannot get out of it. Okay. Or you have the very big one, which are you know. Yeah. You have a size 22 here, and you are going like this around to make your, your whip finish. Now, now I, I design it like this, that you will be able to release even small uh, things. It's more easy to use when, uh, when uh, it's a hackle in the front of the fly and uh, tying the knot. I'm sorry, I did not understand what you it, said. It's just more easy to use this tool yes. when you have a hackle so it stands over the... And all the, uh, it's it's smaller, so it's easier to it's yeah. easier to get uh, very precise on the, on, mm. on tiny flies. Mm. You you will see maybe on the next uh, mm. pattern. So here, it's a little bit too long. So 
it's very easy. You grab everything together and just cut like this. You can adjust if you would like, like this. And for me, this pattern looks like a, a caddis pattern when this one was more like a snowflake.